Well, excuse me, princess. What's goody guys? Welcome back to Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the subspace emissary. And I'm about to pass out and faint. <laughs> What's goody? Welcome back to more of what I just said. In the last episode, we climbed to the highest peak of the tallest th that thing. And we made it to the battle the bot the battle shout ba Halbert Interior where we joined Snake, Lucario, and Meta Knight into storming the ship. And now, we found two of, well, princesses that might be looking to join the battle. That's not a princess! It's Sheik! And I love this part. Sheik's like, uh, Peach is like, oh, wait, I know. That, that, I know who that is. It's like she got to see her change. I got the set, the titties and the anus. Jeez, I'm on fire today already. All right, well, we finally get to play as Sheik. Pretty much everybody from, you know, everywhere was like, finally, fuck. So it sucks. So if you pick Zelda, you cannot change into Sheik, like the entire time. At least from what I understand. So I usually pick Peach anyway. But yeah, you can't choose Sheik no matter what whenever you play a Zelda, so that's kind of a reason to want to pick Peach instead, although you don't really stay with them for that long. You're with Kirby Abandons, whoever you pick, like, at some point. And I think I'm dead. Nope. Just barely. This also is a lot easier if you just are Peach in this section, but fuck it. And yes, like with all characters, Sheik has a dramatically reduced speed, as you can see. Her legs don't even move as fast as they ought to should be. Anyways, thank you for the cheese wheel. Ah, oh, I, I seem to have blown you. Alright, well, we know how to play a Sheik. That could be very useful. I guess this area is more useful for Sheik. Alright, I don't want to, like, miss stuff, so I'm just gonna... Like, like I know I don't... I say, like, oh, I don't really care for collectibles, but... I don't want to outright miss anything that I can find. Like that, that that's pretty useful. Let me guess, and you got, like, there's, like, a gold one over here. I don't know if this is one of these. You know, I think this might be progression. Oh well, maybe maybe I'll go back. I would, you know, maybe I might not even fucking survive. Also, oh no, I was like, these look like they can be broken. Actually, they'll just fall. Also, I don't believe we have those. Like all of the level gimmicks here, all of the backgrounds, everything for this for this the story mode, should 100% be available in Stage Builder. Oh, that's what that does. So once we go here, we're gonna we're gonna get caught off. So I think I'm gonna go back just to see what what the other side had, and not this scope motherfucking gumball son of a bitch. All right, so we go up here and voila. So I might have done the right thing if this will give me more healing properties. That could work. And you, uh, sure, bazooka gun thing. It's actually a firecracker gun. The weirdest gun that Smash Brothers ever introduced. Oh, that well that well that didn't didn't really solve anything. It's cool. They kinda it kinda just causes immense chaos, because there's no like trick to it. You just shoot it. I believe they can kinda bounce around, but uh oh, I gotta throw it away. No. Oh god damn it. Now I gotta play as Peach. In a, in a section where I'm just platforming. Well at least I can do this. Up oh, and yep, get hit straight by that. That's the plus of Peach. Uh oh, uh oh. Nope. Wow, that moves very slow. Anyways, oh, music change. And right in here, we have a very peculiar room. We have a bunch of enemies in here from throughout the game. Also, I can do that. But one thing that is interesting here. That thing. That enemy down there. This is the only time that that enemy bottom, right right underneath Peach right here, 
where that one ever appears. Actually, fuck, I forgot the name of it. Oh, and I had just, you know, had it recently, just, to, just so I had it on standby. I have a trophy of this. You can get the trophy of it. But what, honestly, is that? I have a theory, but I'll get into that theory perhaps at a later point. What also could be thought of is that it creates the, um, the enemies. So that's, that's just really interesting. So I just looked into it. I wanted to actually make note of what this enemy is called. It's called a Mizzo. One theory suggests that Meta Knight kept it here for studies and it just had found it. It was originally thought that this enemy would be found in water, uh, but there really weren't many like water sections. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't really make sense. That's why it kind of does like what looks like a swimming thing. Um, but yeah, it's only seen in this display room of sorts. Um, but what I, I have a theory as to what it actually could be. But it's just a theory. There's really no solid evidence that provides it. I looked up the trophy description and it doesn't really even say much. It just says, hey, you can find it here. This is what it is. Mizzo. Oh, hey. A bunch of enemies. You know, maybe this is why we should have just stayed in the cells like, like Snake had told us to do. Because girls can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. So, uh, anyways, we got some primates, we got a slapperino. So that's, that's, that's always a good thing to do. Oh, you can't get away from me, I'm the peach. You're the beach. Alright, are we gonna get any, any, yep, a reaper, a creeper, I mean. Oh, and there I go. I believe now as Sheik we can switch to Zelda if we wanted to, but I'm not going to and the group just off himself. So that's cool. You know, they shouldn't be allowed to do that, but whatever. And we still get... And also, I'd like to point out that not all the... I wish they had all of the enemies in that room. They're like, like several rooms with several different of the enemies because like... They're just some strange omissions, that's all. Like these guys weren't in there. The Armites run in there, but I guess they, they come, they sort of appear and break reality when they appear through the background. Because Donkey Kong Country Returns hadn't happened yet. I think what, Don that came out like a year after this game? Maybe. Oh, what? Is, is that where he went? He fell down, he went all the way here? Because. No, he, this definitely belongs here, but like. Like, it just, you know, yeah, I, 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 I could fight you, but you're already kicking my fucking ass. Yeah, you know, I've, I've had enough of this Halberd bullshit. I've had enough of Meta Knight and his goddamn revenge. He wanted revenge so bad, he could get it himself. I'm just, uh, where's the goddamn heavy lobster? I, I want to see the heavy lobster. I want to see the... <laughs> That's okay. I was I was gonna die anyway at that point. Can I spawn there? Thank you. Ha, 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 ha. You know I I was happy to getting Sheik, but Peach really breaks this whole game with her with her flying ability. She's basically like the go-to character you want to play as. Oh, they I lost my hammerhead. You motherfuckers! You don't like sharks. All right, let's go over here. And wow, this 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 thing had a lot more platforms on it now than than I saw previously. At least the wind is going the right way. That, that, that's that's good. As opposed to other things I feel like I've encountered in the past. And I don't I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why that happened. Okay, good. Magnet hands. Alright, make it there. Peach, no. It's like her, her parasol, like she moves quite a bit in the air. So you gotta be careful. Speaking of being careful, look. Work carefully at the end. This awesome fucking... Starship Battle Song, I forget the name, Space Battleground, I think. Fox got his R-Wing back somehow. Even though his great Fox has been destroyed, he doesn't give up. Oh, he's discovered. Sheik, you idiot, we're on the same team! This is pretty cool. Like, just that shot in itself is fucking awesome. And somehow with all the wind, they both land there. Hi. Hey, I want to see it. It's the top tiers in Melee, come on. 
and probably the two two of the fastest characters. And I did love how Sheik just takes the, the tea like instantaneously. And then that's just it. Tea, tea makes friends of us all. I feel like I've gotten this Pokeball like an immense amount of times. No key! Oh, God's here in Mario Baseball. Falcon Pop. Zelda joined our team. And doesn't that mean that Sheik also joined our team? I don't know. But finally, after all that time where Zelda was not on our team, Zelda now is on our team. How about number 16? Why, why the why the fuck not? And hey, we have a pretty respectable lineup now. Despite the fact that we have all these people in our party and they're not all together, but whatever. And look, we got all... No, we didn't get everything there. Dag Flabbit. Alright, well let's continue the story. And we can see who's running the operation. I was so happy when I saw this because I genuinely thought Game & Watch wasn't going to be in this game. But yeah, it's a bunch of... Game and watches that are in charge of the halberd? Nope. It's just a bunch of particles. That becomes a generic villain. Snake's ass! Up oh, and hey, look, there's Falco too! That's pretty. This is a pretty fucking elite squad right here, and then Peach is just doing that. That's, that's totally her. But look at this elite squad we got right here. We got Fal Fox and Falco, fucking Snake, Sheik, and Lucario. If only we had fucking Meta Knight and Captain Falcon here, that that this would be just beast in in general. Um, you know, I'm gonna go Falco. We saw Snake last time. We haven't seen Fox in a bit, and I'll go Snake and uh, Lucario. Yeah, you only get four here. If you have a second controller, a second person, you get more. Sorry, I left the girly girls out of it. Man, Falco getting nerfed because of the slowness is, is very bad. So this is Duon, the less memorable of the two unique bosses in this game. That, well, I guess I guess less memorable of the, uh... Oh, it, it didn't work. Oh, that did work that time. Oh. That was enough to kill me? This thing could kind of be annoying. I would say it's more annoying than the Gallium, but like I said, it's far less memorable. Like, I don't know why you couldn't just have a Kirby enemy here. You couldn't just have, like, the Heavy Lobster or something. Like, not just the genetic fucking... Genetic. Generic fucking, uh... You know, subspace goon. Like, you know... I mean, it's a creative concept, but, like, it, it, it kind of... It just goes nowhere. Like, who cares? And I'm not doing very well at fight fighting this thing now, am I? And it has the same uh, theme music as the as the other boss fight. The only thing with this one is that it it simply just uh, wow they break my shield instantly. It just play it starts playing it from a different time. Good way to kick this thing's ass is to hit it from the back here, which I just probably should have been doing the entire time. But they also have attacks that will hit both sides. When it realizes what you're doing, it's gonna move like that. Somehow that hit me from the back, from the front and the back. I am cheating you. Oh, he can shoot. He shoot lasers out of his back. All right. Well, you know what? Lucario might be the best one to deal with the rest of this thing. Well, doesn't matter because firecrackers. Look at that. The person I like probably the least, and he, he did it for us. How about that? And the gun I don't really care for. And now, finally! Out of fucking nowhere, we didn't know he was in the story five minutes ago. When I originally played this, I had no idea he was even a playable character. Because I thought he they might have gotten rid of him, because they got rid of other melee characters. But now, we got Mr. Game & Watch, motherfuckers! And Meta Knight finally takes control of his ship and exits the subspace. That iconic right there. You get nothing! I think I made that joke already. And look, we got Mr. Game & Watch! I don't know if he would be very useful in this at all. I don't even remember if I've actually used him in story mode at all because at a certain point you get a choice. But yeah. That that was that's Game and Watch's contribution to this. 
You, you they didn't forget him. He, he's in it. I don't know how he wasn't one of the characters that you just play, like, after. Why wasn't it just the fucking giant Game & Watch octopus as the, the, the boss fight there? Like, some something like that. That could have been interesting in 2D. Like, that would have been a cool boss. But, whatever. As important story beats continue to happen, we have possibly one will become one of our most important ones coming up right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know how this goes? Dun 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 You see, because it's... It's the island's exploding probably because that's what happens where everywhere fucking Samus goes Anyways, this is probably I believe this is our last Samus and Pikachu level So enjoy it while you can despite the fact that Sakurai Despite the fact that we already faced Ridley. There's still more Hey, I'll take that right after I take you out. I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out to dinner also, this Norfair remix kicks fucking ass. Like, if for once Metroid decided, like, hey, let's do a calm theme in Smash Brothers. So they did. Uh oh. These are all traps, aren't they? That's fine. I, I need the experience. Beat you with Mr. Saturn's. See, I didn't even have to do anything there. Yeah, this theme just kicks ass. Nice try. Barbara. That's, I think I used to call that thing Barbara because I didn't know how to pronounce Bulbarus. Ouch. You know, these subspace enemies could potentially be Metroid enemies. Oh. Well, there goes my cool music, damn it! Oh. One of the missile guys. Where are shy guys, by the way? Why aren't those guys enemies? Like, I know we have enough Mario rep, but come on. See, even more Mario rep. Well, technically, this was in Donkey Kong. But Mario will use this hammer in the Mario movie! I thought there was a bottomless pit that was appearing. A little weird Zelda enemy person thing. A jelly food donut. Yay, do we get back awesome music? Yay! They really want me to have that gun, and wow, I just did that. You already went there. What enemies you got here? I love fighting real turrets, so I'm not gonna get mad at this. I know, especially when there's no way that he can kill me in this box. I can't just you can't just explode at 999%. Thank you. Wait, what? You're still alive? Hey, can you come over here? I guess I'm gonna show you. Damn it! Run faster, Sam you know, it seems like Samus is actually running faster than her normal speed. Oh come on! Camera should have followed me at that point. I rolled. I controlled that. Now I don't even know where I am. A oh, big pyramid. They don't even have faces anymore. The simulation's breaking. They only they they have the like, vaginas on their faces. Does this go further down? It doesn't. Okay, so we got genius level design. Go right and then go up. I thought it was just gonna be go further down. You know what? I don't think this is it. But we'll go to it. Music didn't change? Alright. No, oh, this seems like another. Uh. Well, the door is there still, so we can backtrack. Wait, this is the end of the level. Um. You see that light, right? This is the end of the level, so I'm gonna keep going. That was uh, that, that. I remember though this level. I uh, there's not much to it. It is kind of fairly quick. Also, this is the subspace bomb factory. We haven't seen any bombs. Where are the bombs? Also, I like how this thing actually has bullets. Like you can see the shells. All right, come on, come on. Stickers. I didn't come in here for no stickers. Can you just die? Thank you. Metal Pikachu. I always love that, just the subtle metal sound effect. Oh no, these guys. Alright, this is just gonna be it. It's just gonna be it. Well, that was a waste. Also, these things are pathetic. The music reset. 
robs. They're not even locking me in this one. They're just like, hey, there's just some robs here. Oh, well, good thing I already have all of these fucking things. Pikachu, Pikachu. Collect them all. Oh! Secret door, secret door, secret door, secret door. Ah! You know, that like blended in. I didn't even realize that was like the foreground. Well, that was nice. I think that just guaranteed we got everything in this level. Unless I missed something. Nope, not fighting you again. Nope. What about over here? Did I miss? Yeah, I missed this room. And another secret door! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ah, you! We haven't seen you in a while. I like the arm angst. Why do they never use these fucking things? Are they also pathetic? Yeah, they're also pathetic. But I love that! Get over here, you fucking strong bad character. And guard! Yay! Oh, a uh, ladder spawns. That's nice. Look at that, look at that. He climbs like Big the Cat. Alright, let's go down, down, down. Back into the door that marks the end of the level. Uh, no, oh, Pikachu, up. That Maybe that's why I should turn Tap Jump off. Come on, my super fast Pikachu. Avoid all of these, uh, whatever. I'm weak against steel types, aren't I? Oh, there's more. Wait, there's more. Come on, get out of here. Wow, what a, what a tail strike. Yes, jelly filled, my favorite. Pikachu! No! Ah! Take shell of despair out. All right, well, with that taken care of, we got some nice, you can take a look at these charts. And look who's here, face to face, at the end of the line, with the ancient minister. And oh, he looks a bit troubled. Is it finally getting to him, with his massive ears and rings of ears? Yetta! That's yet another thing that we found. Ha 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 ha. Alright, and yet another subspace bomb factory, it seems. Mmm. Interessante. Well, I believe we did a lot in this episode. We went through three levels, um, even though it was probably kind of short. Uh, I think that will be enough for this one. We got some big story beats coming in the next episode, so you're not going to want to miss that. We'll find out what the ancient minister is actually thinking. What's the deal with that guy? And what's going to happen now that we're in the subspace bomb factory with all those bombs? So, with that in mind, we've got control of the halberd. We'll see what happens next time on S Smash Brothers The Subspace Emissary. I, I almost did that without fucking it up. All right, we'll see you guys. Yeah, uh, just Look, watch the next video when it's out, alright? Please, thank you, bye, peace among everyone. It's SNAKE! And that's the only voice lines that will ever be said in this entire fucking shit. Kept you waiting, huh? Time to squeeze through this halberd, but I gotta be careful about through these doors, because I dumb thing. Look at them cheeks. Even Snake got the fan service. He got the cheeks! My ass is just rubbing against the ground. The, the collapse of my ass cheeks. This primits hurt me. Honestly, Snake, why would you be a stowaway if you're just gonna not be stealthy at all? You're just kicking the crap out of all these things. So yeah, finally, we get to go on the halberd, which is a 